Hello everybody, welcome to this channel. Uh, my name is Mandur. I will be making here a little tutorials about video games, how to build video games. I won't repeat tutorial that I find over the internet. I will try to make different stuff and stuff. Uh, I will also reference good tutorial that I followed uh, on the, the, the links of my channel. Here on this series I will try to focus on Project Spark. So here is the game that I've launched, you can see the, the screen here. Uh, what is Project Spark? Project Spark is a game that will allow you to build game. It's currently available on Xbox One and PC, uh, PC Windows 8.1. It is also announced to be uh, available on the Xbox 360, but, uh, but I haven't found it for the time being. Please, if you find it available, uh, tell me, uh, comment this video so I can make a quick note here. So this is a base interface. You can see that actually I have here on the top right my uh, Xbox Live profile. I have here two different currencies. So Project Spark is a free to play. So if you played League of Legends or other free to plays, it's exactly the same idea. You've got silver coins and uh, that that you earn for free by doing some achievements and gold bars that you can pay to have them. Uh, with this money, you will be able to purchase new assets and new stuff. Uh, I will show you later on the marketplace. The marketplace is here. Yeah, let me just. The marketplace is here. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Sorry, it's the first time I use this tool. I have to get used to it. So, for the time being, I will use the create here. Create. Yeah. So, here in the create, you can put different stuff. With an empty world, you will just create a, an empty world. With the world wizard, you, the Project Spark will ask you a few questions and they will generate for you um, a world. Generate a world from scratch just based on your answers. I will show you this tool later on. If I get a bit back, back to the main menu, here you can hit the play button. With the play button you can go to the community and here you can see actually all the creation that were done by other player. So actually I could play the Tropical Island games made by uh, Daviduk2000. Um, I'm sure it's a great game. And actually I could play this game and I could also take the asset he's using and incorporate it into my game. So it's like an open source thing. You can. Uh, make some creation, but also share it with the others, take from the others, that, that's, that's really cool. So if I go back, here you can see New West, and finally here at the bottom you can see the top rated. Uh, and here, in the main menu, it's the Team Dakota, so it's the guys that are own Project Spark. Uh, it's, it's the maps that they're currently featuring, so they're really good maps. You can see there is a Star Wars thing, it's, it's quite good. And uh, last but not least, let's talk about the marketplace. So you can see here that you have several other things that you, you have for free, I mean in the base game. So in the base game you'll have um, all the temperate ecosystems, so forest, grass and also desert and snow, it's fine. But you won't be able to do like huge landscapes. To do it, you must uh, have the Arctic Glacier one, for example, for the snow. You can see that here I can also eat on the little preview showcase. And here you can see a bit uh, what kind of landscape you could build with this um, with this add-on. So yeah, it's, it's a bit slow. Uh, I, I have a lot of things running on my computer right now. So yeah, uh, I'll just wait a bit. So actually this will simply toggle the video that will uh, just demo a bit uh, the, the package. So you will have this one for the... Um, it will be a snow environment. Yeah, so you can see this is the little explanation. And um, yeah, I am a little fish. And actually uh, it's going to show. So you can see that there are some pretty cool effects. Uh, you will have the same pack for the desert. Uh, you will also have one for castle, so like medieval stuff. You will also have one for zombies, uh, and I don't remember all of them, but you have quite a lot of opportunities here. So this is purchasable with either real money or just by playing Project Spark and earning silver coins. 
So now let's let's talk a bit about the creation interface. So here I am going into the create button and here I will just tell the game to create me an empty world. So now Project Spark is generating for me uh, an empty project. Uh, so it's like a world with nothing inside it. Uh, you will see that I will still have some base stuff. You can see here that I have a little guy here in the middle. Let's call him Herbert. Hello, Herbert. Uh, and actually, if I hit play, so the button play, which is located here, you can see here. Yeah, I I'm becoming really good with this stuff. If I hit play here, I can test this game. So you can see I have a lot of base stuff already available. You can see that my little, uh, my footsteps are generating some kind of dust. I've got some lightning effects. I can jump, double jump. I can throw fireballs. I can punch guys. Ah, yeah, I can also do that. But that's 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 cool. So you can see that it's quite easy in this game to do some kind of a third-person shooter or something like that. It's also very easy to do a first-person shooter. I will show you right uh, in two minutes how to do it. So first I want to detail here on the left uh, the different options that you will have. So here if I go on the first one, oh god why I have this one here so on the first one here this is the biome. So what will the biome allow you to do? is to build, um, as to say, an environment, like a real environment, a cool one. So here you can see that it generates grass, but also trees with it. And it will size the tree um, in function of the, the size of the brush. So yeah, the size of the brush is here. So if you, if you don't want, if you want to have bigger trees, you just kill it. And here you go, bigger trees. Isn't that cool? So sometimes you're not very interested to of having all this stuff. I mean, uh, do you really want to be in a forest? Herbert, my little Herbert here, he wants to, he's a farmer, so it's more like a field. So if I use here the second button here, oh, I think I have understood. So this button here, actually I can just draw paint. You can see that here, let's make forest for Herbert, like a, uh, sorry, a uh, plane for Herbert, so he can farm a bit. And here we go. Here we can just paint without any trees in our any rocks, just just random grass like this. So this is still a bit flat. It's it's not perfect landscape. I I would like a little hill to build a house of Herbert on the on the top of it. So here you got the third mode, which is this one. And actually the sculpt mode. So you can see here you've got plenty of different options. Add, smooth, plateau, cubify. Actually I really love the expand one. So here you can see you can select how much do you want it to increase. The intensity. So here it will increase a lot. Yeah that that's a bit... Yeah, I, I'm making some... this is not a very cool landscape. But this is not a problem because here you can see that I have a little bar that will allow me to go back behind. So this is a cool cliff. Let's make a bit here like that. Yeah, that's cool. And here you can also erode it. Oh, sorry. I, I put here if you press. You can just erode it. Yeah, I erode it too much. Yeah, that's that's cool. And now let's make a little bit uh, rougher. Yeah, let's make it like a, a mountain, right? A bit more abrupt. Well... I mean, I'm not an artist, this is not very... I'm quite sure that you guys can do better stuff. And I really look forward to seeing your creations. But still, it's not that bad, right? I mean, I cannot place Herbert's house here, it's too abrupt. So yeah, in this case, I can just press here, smooth. And yeah, you can see that here I'm smoothing. Yeah, that that's really a cool thing. And now, now last but not least, this little mod here, which is called Props. So what is a props in Project Spark? A prop is absolutely everything you see that is not a landscape. For example, this little grass here is not a prop. This is a prop. You can see that I can select it. This is also a prop. This is a prop. And also here I can just use the little fast action button here. This one here will allow me to, to jump to my player. Oh, sorry. 
So here I jump to Herbert and he is also a prop. So you can see that actually I can rotate Herbert. That's not very useful, but I can still do it. Uh, I can also move Herbert. I can also scale Herbert like, like this, a giant Herbert. And here you can also see that I have different stuff. Um, let's start right away with the first one, which is the brain. With the brain, I can, if I click on it, I will see the logic that that's going to be used by Herbert. So here, uh, this is some kind, it's called code with a K. And actually, this is uh, very simple. It's a visual programming stuff. So here, it's separated by when and do clauses. If you don't have any when, the do clauses will always execute. So at each iteration of the game, uh, every do clauses will execute. Um, if you have a once here, this clause here will actually just run once. So, I mean, at the start of the game. So this is great to set new things. Like uh, he want you want Herbert to join the team one just once, not not like every frame of the game. It will slow down everything and it doesn't uh, it doesn't give anything more. I mean, and here you can see that when you're moving the left stick, I am moving Herbert. Here, if I press A, I jump. So this is translated by a normal PC control. So actually, A space. X, then I can attack, so this is my left button click, and here uh, with Y I shoot. So basically shooting is like a fireball, it's uh, like base stuff. And now, it, this is cool for Xbox, but I'm using a PC, I'm more of a PC gamer. Uh, if you press the A, here you can see it opens a um, little round menu. You can go up, up. And here you will have the base menu of everything that you can do, every type. So here I'm interested into controls, keyboard, and I would like to press space. And you can just replace them. If you know exactly what you want to do, if I select this one, I can just type it. So for example, here X, uh, yeah, it's left mouse, let's see, left mouse button pressed. So now it will be native for PC. So it, I mean, it was just for the example. It, it won't bring anything in our game right now. Uh, this isn't just the base tutorial, just to show you the interface. I will explain the logic in my next tutorial. Uh, if I go back here, here, with the two little wheels, I will have another stuff. Here is, I can actually customize the Herbert. Here, this is the brain, so I already told you, you have the properties, you can here customize everything about his appearance, movements, uh, combat damage, combat behavior, you can also change his sounds, his physics, so do you want him to levitate, for example? Uh, you can give really lots of things, that, that's really an important menu. With the character studio, you can just uh, change the way it looks. Uh, on the Xbox One, you can also do some motion captures. Sadly, I live in Switzerland, Xbox One is still not out yet. Uh, but I have seen a lot of video, I will link one um, here below, where you see guys doing motion capture. So please, if you got an Xbox One, just do some motion capture because this is awesome. Um, then you can see I can swap mesh, so for example, if I want Herbert to be more like, uh, I don't know, uh, yeah, let's call him Boris the Goblin. Um, now I will have a goblin. Uh, it's exactly the same logic. I mean, I, I, it, it, it's just a swap of the mesh, so the looking of the guy. So yeah, is is ugly, right? Uh, Herbert was better, but nevertheless. Uh, so actually, did I forgot something? Yeah, actually here this is the menu and this is the character studio that I already showed you. So this is really a tutorial for the base interface. Oh yeah, I just forgot to explain you something very important. If you want to add things, props to the world, you've got a lot of pre-made pre, pre stuff. So here you've got all the objects. You can see here you've got different categories. Here you have all the object, characters, here you have the effects, here are the FX, sounds and behaviors. So this is, you've got really a lot of options. And uh, if you use the in-game goals, you can also unlock more of them. So I'm going to end my tutorial now. Thank you very much for following and please stay tuned for the next episodes.
Bye.